Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a great day, and we last time played as Isaac, and we did like all the things. Uh, we killed Mega Satan, we went to the chest, we killed Delirium, we killed Hush, we did like everything. Um, I think today I would like, uh, hmm, let's do, let's do a Maggie run. Let's do a Maggie run to the dark room. I think that's a good option. Stuff that needs to happen. We did get Eden's blessing. Uh, so we're starting with Luckfoot, which is not something that Eve normally starts with. Kind of a little disappointed that we're starting with Luckfoot, honestly, because it's not a great item, but... Uh, well, I shouldn't say it's not a great item. It's just not that great of an item. Uh, the friendly ball allows you to capture enemies. Hmm, maybe. Maybe this is a good idea. Let's roll with it. Uh, we haven't used this item before, ever. Um, so, you are caught. But now I have to wait <laughs> three rooms before I can bring that item out or that enemy out, and that enemy will then be my friend. That's basically, it's like a Pokeball, essentially. I don't like the long cooldown, though, so if we're gonna make Friendly Ball work for us, we need to get some battery-related items. Ah, that was bad damage. Uh, thank you for the heart, though. Allow me to recover said bad damage. I appreciate it. I feel like our Isaac game is is mostly back on track. We kind of uh, we kind of ran into some issues, and I I I don't know. It was not good. I want to see if I can like force these guys out of here. There we go. They, they like to cower in here and make them hard to hit. So I prefer. And the fact that this guy can like reflect my tears is really annoying. Come on. Come on. Please, please, one of you, please die. Like, seriously. I've been firing at you for like, I feel like I've been in this room for an hour and a half. <laughs> there we Stop reflecting my tears and take damage. Come on. Almost. Nope. You need to die already. This is, this is starting to get ridiculous. That door is going to open up like any second. There we go. Finally. Whew. That took an exorbitant amount of time. All right, moving on. Uh, we'll bring out the, the Pokeball against the boss and I'll make a decision as to whether or not I want to uh, stay with the Pokeball or if we want to go back for the Yum Heart. I hate to backtrack, but I feel like the Yum Heart might just end up being better for us, even though the Yum Heart itself is really not that great of an item. I really don't think the Pokeball is that good, but we're gonna try it out. That, that's, we gotta give it, a, we gotta get, at least give it a chance. Maybe it'll do great things for us. Who knows? And then I think the enemy carries over between rooms? I think. I hope. If not, it would really be bad. But you're talking six, basically six rooms to get any real use out of it. Um, ah, that was bad. Okay. Oh, actually, so we're going to summon him. And then he's going to run out, run around and attack enemies for us. And I'm just going to sit here and take all the damage, apparently. Really? Come on. Stop. Stop with the stupid damage self. Like, we could actually die here. Ah, he, he lived. And surprisingly... I'm kind of floored. All right, so we do need to run back for the Yum Heart because our health is in a terrible position right now. And I don't think the Pokeball is that good. Like, I don't know. We'll see how it fares against the boss, but I'm not uh, I'm not overly inclined to take it. We need we need the health recovery, though. Like right now, we have we have no health whatsoever. So we'll take our one familiar with us. Uh, and actually, we'll use the battery to get the rest of our health back, and then we'll be fine. But I'm not even going to really be worried. Still, could have gone better. This floor was a little rough, honestly. 
We'll see what we get from our boss. It's Little Horn. Okay, Little Horn I'm not overly concerned with. And our familiar is already dead. Yeah, so six rooms to bring out a familiar that can just die doesn't really seem that good, if I'm being entirely honest. Try and avoid those shots. Oh, no. Ah, yeah, well. I don't like the fact that you come out of the the little sinkhole, like, directly underneath him, either. Come on. It's just Little Horn, like, shouldn't be that hard. Hopefully we get a damage upgrade. That's what I'm hoping. And we got Latch Key, which is a luck up. And it does give us a Spirit Heart as protection. So that's at least something. Um, and it gives us a couple keys as well, I believe. Okay, so, hmm, we do have a Spirit Heart of Protection. We do need to clear these enemies out, and I really, yeah, there we go. Okay, I think, I think the, I think the rest of this room should be pretty doable, unless I, oh, I can't believe I got hit there. That was so bad. Anyway, allow me to clear this room. We'll take a half a heart. Um, deal with the flies. Oh, really? I got hit by a fly? Man. So I said our Isaac, I, I think I said earlier, our Isaac game is back on point. I was kidding. That was uh, an exaggeration apparently because my Isaac game is apparently not at all on point. In fact, my Isaac game is very off point at the moment. Uh, okay, so try and, like, diagonal shot these into enemies. Come on. There we go. There we go. He's dead. All right. And here's our item room. We do have the keys to open it, so hopefully there'll be something useful in there. That's all I'm asking for is, like, a decent... Give me something good. Uh, ghost pepper. Okay. Okay. It's something. Um, it'll allow me to shoot flame. Flame tears from time to time. Uh, and we do have two luck. I think it's affected by the luck stat. And they do deal pretty good damage. But uh, I'm still hoping for a little better than that, if I'm being entirely honest. Um, come on. I also hate flaming leapers. Quite a lot. The fact that they can just, like, jump all the way across the map to kill you. There we go. Actually, flame the, the, the flame did a little bit of good work for us there. Give us something. Um, we haven't taken damage on this floor yet, so I think it's worth it to visit the shop. And I was hoping to buy a spirit heart, but there is not one for sale. So, so much for that. So hopefully we fight um, a boss that we are able to defeat without taking any damage. Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. Oh, man. How? Oh, I got hit by the stupid orbiting fly surrounding the mushroom. Or the... Dang it. Dang it. Okay. Well, everything has gone horribly wrong. <laughs> oh, man. You. That fly right there is what did me in. This is probably our secret room. Yep. And dim bulb. Okay. A decent trinket. Um, at this point, you might as well head back. Boss Rush, we're not even going to, like, go for it um, on this run, considering we haven't even cleared the basement, too, and we're already at eight minutes. Like, that's that's pretty slow. We're going to have to pick it up. We'll have to pick up the pace a lot. Uh, partly it's because we backtracked uh, quite a bit on that first floor. Like, that's a, a pretty big part of it. And Maggie, in general, is just relatively slow. But we'll do this. We might as well visit our cursed room at this point. Because there's really no reason not to. Our deal with the devil chance is already relatively poor, so... I mean, once you take the red heart damage, you might as well just, you know, accept it and... Try and do your best to work around it. Okay, so there we go. We'll use the yum heart. Um, actually, yeah, this is fine, because we'll get that dim bulb bonus, 
against the boss, which is a relatively nice all stats upgrade, including a speed upgrade. And actually a pretty big speed upgrade. So ideally with Dim Bulb, we would get some sort of a uh, use it once per room item. That's like the dream with Dim Bulb, like a Guppy's head or uh, basically anything that we can use once per room would be great with Dim Bulb. Because then we can just always have the effect active. Uh, or I think it also works with uh, spacebar items that are one time use such as Diplopia or Pandora's Box or the Present or something like that. Like, that could also be very good for us. We lost our Dim Bulb bonus because it goes away as soon as you have any charges whatsoever in your item. But at the same time, uh, I feel like the ability to fly is probably worth it. And I think that also gives us Spectral Tears. Yeah, it does. All right, down to the next floor we go. So we'll swing in here. Uh, that's totally worth it. Tarot, cost, uh, tarot cloth doubles the effect of many tarot cards. Like, that's super good. What did we get? Two of diamonds. So this, instead of doubling our uh, coins, this will actually quadruple our coins. So, yeah, tarot cloth. Awesome. Great utility item. Like, all around. For sure. Happy to have it. And Spectral Tears is actually doing some some good things for us as well, allowing us to hit those enemies behind cover. There we go. Let's swing up here. There's our item room already. That's great. Don't have to go searching for that for too long. And we're going a little slow. Maybe we could uh, maybe we could still make boss rush. Digiminer? Um not so much. That's eh, not so useful. Uh so what we should probably do is build up um, enough Yum Heart charges that we can use it. And then when we fight the, like right before we fight the boss, we'll, uh, we'll pop Yum Heart so that we have uh, the, the bonus against the boss. Because it is a, a pretty significant stat, uh, stat bonus, like for sure. I think that's probably our best bet. Uh, let's also check our shop which has moving box, a battery, uh, nothing I'm particularly interested in. Okay. Maybe if moving box was something different, but we'll worry about that some other time. Don't get hit. And we can just kind of... Now, the nice thing about being able to fly and having spectral tears is I can just sit right here and he can't even touch me. Which is maybe a little cheap, but, uh, you know, sometimes Isaac is a little uh, cheaty itself. Sometimes it doesn't give you anything. That's what, you know, sometimes it doesn't give you the tools you need. So I don't have, I don't have a problem playing a little dirty against Isaac if Isaac's going to play a little dirty against me, if you know what I mean. There we go. All right, so there's our boss. We found our item room. We've been to our shop. There's really nothing else on this floor that we need to do. So what we will do here... Uh, we will check. We will check this uh, this area up here for our second secret room. Might as well. We've got five bombs. So let's do that. Yep, that is the secret room, and it does have a black heart, which is actually great. Okay, so then we come in here, we pop that, so we get the dim bulb bonus. We get hit because that's how we do things. And we just try and stay out of Gertie's way. Okay, well, just one more, one more. There we go, we got him. And our deal chance stayed intact. Mom's lipstick is kind of horrendous, but whatever. We made it through. We're in one piece. We should have decent health. Yeah, three hearts, eh, it's all right. Not great, but it's all right. And what do we got in here? A blood bank and a donation machine. Neither of which I'm particularly interested in at the moment. If I get a bunch of spirit hearts, that blood bank might be a thing, but uh, not at the moment. Don't want to take red heart damage because we want our deals with the devil so we can get some decent damage going and, and get this run to really start to properly pop off. We have a lot of tools here at our disposal that could be really good, but nothing at the moment that's really working for us. 
Gotta clear these guys out. There we go. Uh, and actually, with Tarot Cloth, Blank Card could be great for us. You know, t Blank Card would do awesome things. A great synergy there. Even if we could just get, like, a Hero Font card or something, that would give us four Spirit Hearts instead of just the normal two. Like, that would also be very good. Ooh, missed with the flames. That's all right. This dude will die. There we go. And a battery, which doesn't really make a difference for us right now at all. Don't get hit by this dude. Can we kill the portals, please? I don't like the fact that they're coming at me from all sides right now. There we go. Ah, I got hit. Okay. Well, ruined our deal with the devil chance yet again. We have gotten, like, no spirit hearts. Uh, well, I shouldn't say that. We've gotten some spirit hearts and black hearts, but not, not as many as I would have expected for this point in the game. Haven't really found any tinted rocks. Our one uh, secret room had one black heart, but that was it. Like, all in all... We're running with a little bit of a challenging run. No damage upgrades either. No tiers upgrades. We're still running completely our base DPS, which is also a little bit uh, concerning. The situation could be a lot worse, but could be a lot better as well. I mean, we did at least get spectral tiers. That's something. And we do have tarot cloth, which is an item that opens up a lot of potential for us, but nothing tangible for us at the moment. Ah, that was bad. We just need some sort of a DPS upgrade. So, let's, uh, let's actually pop Yumheart right now. A little bit of money. That's good. If we get up to 25 coins, then I can basically get myself up to 99 coins just by popping two of diamonds. So... We're definitely going to want to visit our shop and all that kind of good stuff. Okay, that's dead. And you're dead. All right, what's this? Temperance. Um, Let's do this Temperance. and just bomb them. Didn't give me nearly as much as I was thinking it would. Relatively easy enemies here, so no complaints from me. Come on, item room. Okay. Blood of the Martyr? Actually pretty good. It is a damage upgrade. That's also a tinted rock. So, I'm happy. The game is working with us, finally. Uh, let's not stand in the middle. We actually should be pretty much invulnerable to these enemies if we don't stand on the sides. Because I think all these guys just summon the little silkworms. And the silkworms can't reach us unless we're standing in the middle. Or, uh, unless we're standing on the edges. Oh, no, that one summons flies. Okay. Well, good to know. Now you're dead. You're dead. And you're dead. And curse chest that has some friendly spiders. Okay, that's something. Let's see. I think we came from that way? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, don't get hit. Don't get hit. Don't squander, don't waste your HP on stupid things. There we go. That's a little better. Still looking for our shop. There it is. This is good. Kill the fly that can actually get to me. And in here, we have Trinket Smelter. Actually. Hmm. Two. We're gonna pop two of diamonds. We're gonna buy Trinket Smelter. We're gonna blow this up. Uh, okay. Do yeah, mm hmm. Careful. We're going to buy sharp plug. Blow this up. Uh, we're definitely gonna buy champion belt. Blow this up. Not interested in the nightlight. PhD. Yes. 
And black candle. Yes. Um, and we can buy like one more item. So, uh, or two with the steam sale. What, what are we on? We're on the flooded caves too. I'll take the steam sale. And then we'll take the battery. And we'll roll Trinket Smelter. Trinket Smelter is kind of a fun item that we haven't really done anything with. So Trinket Smelter, basically, any trinket that you have, uh, it will smelt it, and then you will get the effect of it permanently. So that seems pretty good. Um, yeah, let's go. So we're going to pop Trinket Smelter. That will give us, essentially, the effect for this boss fight. So a little bit more damage, speed upgrades, all that kind of good stuff, which I think is important, especially since Bighorn is an annoying boss, mostly because he's just so tanky. We'll be here for a thousand years if we don't get a little bit of a, a little bit of a buff going. Stay out of the way. We're, oh, he's popping up down here. There we go. Let's make sure we're staying away from the hands. There we go. Flame. The flame doing so much damage when it hits, which is awesome. All right. Away we go. So now we're basically trying to accumulate like as many trinkets as we can. That's basically the goal, which could be fun. Um, yeah, so stay away from the lasers. Oh, I didn't see that guy because he was covered up by somebody else's beam. Oh, or that one. That'll kill all of them, though. That was, un that was badly, badly played. Is there one rotating around the room? No. Okay, so. Since there's not one rotating around the room, we can just do something like this. There we go. Finish that room off pretty easily. Not too bad, not too bad. Um, these enemies are always annoying just because they take forever to kill because you can only Attack them from one side. Okay, you're dead. You're dead. Uh, you actually did my work for me. Thank you, flies. Uh, mm. Vibrant bulb would actually be pretty good as well. If we get that. Any number, I mean, there's any number of different uh, trinkets that could do good things for us at this point. Now that we have... Trinket Smelter. Oh, careful. There we go. We're good. Um, and a penny. Okay. There is our shop, which probably is not super worth it right now. Judgment. Judgment. Blow you guys up. And an infested pill, which I will pop. I don't want to take the one makes you larger pill, so I'm just going to leave it there. Uh, this is going to be very annoying. Careful. Okay. That room actually went pretty well. Normally, it doesn't go so well. I'm not good with that room at all. Um, yep. You're dead. And you're dead. Haven't found our item room yet, though. We did find our shop, but we don't have any money, so... We're going to ignore said shop for the moment. Okay. Uh, let's not get hit by these guys. Let's just kind of... Ah, I say that, and then moments, a little mere seconds later, I get hit by those guys. Isn't that just typical of me? That's all right. There we go. So where, oh, where is my shop? Or my item room, I should say. I know where my shop is. Whoa, what? I call no, that's a load of something. I disagree with that very much. That That is not, that, no. I was hiding, I was safe behind the rocks that should not have been able to hit me. Like, no way. Um, This I'm not really a huge fan of. At all. I don't like this mob of flies that is inevitably going to explode. I don't like standing right there either. Okay, one down. Another one down. We got to be careful because I might, like, I'm. If I get hit once on this floor, 
We have a 100% chance of the deal right now, and I'd like to keep that. So until I get some spirit hearts or something... Actually, maybe what I should do is swing back to the shop and see if I can buy a spirit heart. Like, that could be very useful for us. What's this pill? 48-hour energy. Okay, that's actually a pretty good pill. We'll take it with us. Um, there's our item room. So that's good. I do not like these little leaper guys. They are annoying and evil, and they need to die. There's just so many things to try and keep track of right now. Let's kill the little leaper guy first. And then this skeleton, this bony, needs to die. Good. And now I can worry about these dudes. Careful. Almost. There we go. Made it through. What's in our item room? Um, which fly is this? Friend zone. Friendly fly. Rotates around, deals damage to enemies. Okay. Fine. Alright, there's our boss room. So, uh, we should just be able to kind of like hang out here. Let our friendly fly do a lot of the work. I want to blow this guy up though, because he is going to explode when he dies. There we go. And then I should actually pretty much just be able to kind of hide back here behind these rocks and avoid any real danger. There we go. Hmm. Now, question is, do we go for it? I think we go for it. And just, oh, it's the cage. Okay, so maybe we shouldn't have gone for it. Cage is super annoying, but like super annoying. Uh, and the friendly fly is not doing a whole lot of damage. Ah, uh, yep, that's why I hate the cage right there. We still have a 51%. Oh, are you kidding me? We still have over a 50% chance of a deal with the devil on this floor. So hopefully we'll still get it. That's from blowing up a couple of those little, um, the judgments before. But that doesn't make this boss any less annoying. We do have some hearts outside that we can use to recover our health. So that at least is going to be useful for us. Please die. Just a annoyingly tanky boss with annoying attacks in general. There we go. That should do it. He's dead. And we did get our deal. Um, I'll take that just in case. Depending on what these are. Oh, and it's Krampus. Of course it is. Not what I was hoping for. Do, 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 do the rotating attack, you jerk. I don't like the rotating attack. And he's probably going to drop Krampus's head, which is not really something I want. But, uh, yep, totally drop Krampus's head. Okay. Well, we'll take this. We'll pop this. And then, actually, we'll take Krampus's head because I've got Din Bulb and against a boss. Like, this will do good things for me. It'll allow me to basically hit him with Krampus's head and then be at, you know, maximum. Uh, and then get the, the bonus from Dim Bulb. And since we Trinket Smelted the Wooden Cross, we'll get that benefit too um, at the start of every floor. So, it's something. There we go. Can't go through that boss trap room because I have too much HP. Uh, I don't like this room. Yeah, there, the Wooden Cross kind of saved me there, but these guys are fast and annoying and with the gravity well in the center of the room like it makes it kind of hard to move around properly without getting hit there we go please die thank you so i'm not su well and you know and we got a deal on the last floor so our odds of getting a deal on this floor as well are pretty low unless we get goat head i'm not super confident why do we have a 37 percent chance instead of a 33 percent that was bad does Krampus's head increase your chance of getting a deal? Or does Black Candle or something? I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. Um, okay. This room we can do. There's a Tinted Rock. Uh, don't get hit by this. Tinted Rock. Spirit Hearts, thank you. Got an arcade up here. We will blow you guys up. That... Oh, I didn't mean to pay a bomb. Oh, well. So that didn't really do much for us, but the Tinted Rock from the previous room, that helped. 
Okay, still looking for our item room, still looking for our shop. We've got some money. We have, uh, honestly, relatively decent stats. Um, 6.45 damage isn't horrendous, and we have a 7 tier stat, so all in all, it could be a lot worse. I still feel a little underpowered. It might be because we're slow. I don't know. And our HP isn't, like, great. I'd say we're our run is, like, solidly average right now. Like, there's nothing here, really, other than our speed stat for me to properly, like, complain about. But there's also not really a whole lot of super good stuff going on, either. Um, probably easier to do it from up here. Yeah, there we go. Money. Thank you. Probably gonna pay the key tax in that room at some point. Like, it's just bound to happen. I'm gonna backtrack and run through there, and I'm gonna accidentally spend a key. That will almost certainly happen by the end of this run. Uh, come on. Die. There we go. And dead end. I was kind of hoping that would not be a dead end, that we'd have an item room or something down here, but that apparently was not the case. What's this? Judgment. Judgment. Blowing you guys up for sure. Boom. Uh, careful. Okay. Okay. So still no shop, still no item room, still no either one. Okay. The exploding black bonies are very annoying, and I just like, what? You could just shoot forever? Since when? I mean, I'm safe over the bones. They can't, their bones don't pierce bones, apparently, so. In a pinch. If it really came down to it, I could just hide out over here. Let them pass. There's one. Please die. Thank you. And honestly, it's probably worth it to put a bomb right there and blow up that center. And then see what this is? It's a tower. Eh. The tower. That'll do some things. Oh, that blew up like all the things. Okay. So, I don't want to deal with those guys, so we're just going to leave. There's our shop. Um, yeah, you walked over the fire. That's never a good plan. Don't walk over the fire. Don't do it. It will kill you. Okay, so... 9 volt would actually completely ruin dim bulb. So, I'm actually not going to take it. As tempting as it, as it is, it ruins Dim Bulb because it means that your item starts a little bit more charged. So you don't, you lose that ability to like pop it and then have zero charges and get the, the bonus from Dim Bulb. Uh, we'll pop that just to give us a ton of bombs. We'll take the 48 hour energy with us. Uh, actually, Daddy Long Legs, great item, great item. Very, very good. Uh, let's blow this up. I have plenty of bombs. Uh, Ouroboros? What's this one do? The... Yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant... Uh, I hit the wrong... The wrong button. I meant to drop the trinket, and instead I... Didn't. Um, okay. So, secret room? Secret room. No, neither one. Okay, well, I don't feel like looking for a secret room for the next million years. So, I'll use that. And then, we'll use that. And you are dead. And we're going to take the negative, because we're going to the dark room. Uh, Do I have any guppy items? I don't think I do. Yeah, I definitely don't. So, at this point... I don't think you take... Well, hmm. Yeah, you know what? We'll take it. Whatever. Probably won't become Guppy, but... If I was given the chance to become... Like, if we find two more Guppy items and I don't become Guppy because I didn't take Guppy's hairball, like, I would be very upset with myself. So... Probably should take it. Daddy Long Legs is helping, though. Already doing good work for us. So, you, you, and you. There we go. Nice and easy. Any tinted rocks in here? No, don't see any. Okay. That's totally not worth it.
not three waves of enemies for a regular old chest. Not when I have as many bombs and keys and all that kind of stuff as I do. If it was a golden chest, maybe. But not for a regular one. No way. There we go. Uh, okay. This room looks a lot worse than it actually is. Mostly it's just finding the two lines and finding a spot where you can safely take them both out. There's one. And then we just do this. Do 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 do. You're all dead. 48 hour energy. Okay, awesome. That's good. Okay. Oh, let's not pop that. There we go. Any tinted rocks? Nope, no tinted rocks. Okay, moving on. Ah, brimstone guy got... What? I call BS on that. No way. I was safe, and then he moved slightly and brought his brimstone laser with him. Otherwise, I would not have taken damage. There we go. Okay. Still no tinted rocks. I need spirit hearts. Like, relatively badly. Now, the good news is we do have at least one Krampus head charge. And I do have a 48 hour energy. So, uh, first of all, we check here for a secret room. We check here for a secret room. It's in neither spot. It's not there, so odds are our secret room is probably up here. That would be my guess anyway. Or maybe not. Or maybe it leads up here. This probably leads to the secret room now that I'm looking. Oh, never mind. I got what I needed. We got the spirit heart. Well, actually, you know what? Let's see if we can clear two more rooms up here. Oh, careful. Let the attack fly do our work there. Try and build up Guppy's... Guppy's hairball is such a garbage item, to be honest. Like, it's like a little familiar. You, you mostly just ignore it and let it kind of occasionally do things. I don't think it's really good to focus on it unless you're playing... What's the, the name of the challenge? Cat's Got Your Tongue or something like that? All right, so we are one room away from having two full charges. I really don't want to use my 48-hour energy. So, we're just going to do it this way. And you're going to be dead. Any any minute now. There we go. He's dead. Okay. So, that's all good. Neither one of those are going to be the secret room, are they? Okay. Well, you know what? We'll check up here for the secret room, and then we'll fight the boss. I'm going to guess here. Not there. How about here? Not there. How about here? Really? Man, game really does not want me to find the secret room, so fine. Be that way, game. See if I care. I'm gonna go fight the boss, and that'll be that. So, Conquest, uh, that was actually, like, the easiest boss fight of all time, ever. Um, we'll pick up the white pony and set it back down. I'm actually almost tempted to roll with White Pony because the speed upgrade would be great. But I think the Krampus's head combo that we got going right now is really strong with the Krampus's head and the dark bulb and the two Krampus's head charges. That should like basically melt uh, pretty much any boss. So I think we stick with what we got. Especially since we don't really use Krampus's head like that often. Um, I don't know, this might be the first, the first run where we've, like, rolled it long term. We occasionally roll it until we have, like, basically any other item that can replace it. That was bad damage. I really hate these guys. Pop up. Alright, you're dead. There we go. What do we got here? An eternal chest. I have so many keys that I will gladly open it and get absolutely nothing because internal ch eternal chests kind of suck. Um, okay. 
Yep. Pop up. Stay right there. Die a horrible death. Okay, you're dead. And now we just need to kill the little... Little diglet. There we go. Nice and easy. And this is a power pill, which I don't really care about. Um, tinted rocks. New? Any over here? No. Okay. We are still, like, super slow, but... We've been, the PhD hasn't really been doing much for us. Like, we just haven't seen a, a whole lot of pills, unfortunately. Not enough to get it to pop for us, which is unfortunate, but what can you do? Can't control what stuff drops. Ah, I hate turrets. I hate you so much right now. Like, you... I hate... Yeah. Anyway. Okay. Golden chest has... Random stuff that I don't need. Um, I mean, I guess we'll take the friend's, the, the child's leash that basically just like, what that does is it, it keeps your familiars closer to you, but it's not really that important for us at the moment. Uh, Guppy's hairball can block shots, and it has been doing that, although now I'm completely, I have no, uh, I have no H, or I have no spirit heart, so. Whatever. We actually, we have two HP right now. That's really bad. I'm just looking at this and going like, what in the world? This run. Infamy's good, though. Infamy's really good, in fact. I'd call that like a class B item. Like, not top tier, but upper middle tier for sure. Just because the ability to stop shots when you're me and you tend to take a lot of damage is actually really good. Um, so here, we're just going to keep moving and we're going to keep firing. And when... I hate this room. I really do. I hate these enemies. Just in general. These guys... Pop up, pop down, pop up, pop down, fire a bunch of shots, do a bunch of damage. Daddy Long Legs hopefully will help us out a little bit. Okay. This is like the slowest run of my life, too. I just realized we're 40 minutes into this run and we're on the womb, too. And I don't even really think... Oh, speed upgrade. Thank goodness. Uh, I was going to say, I don't even really feel like we've been, you know, going super slowly. Like, I, th I guess we kind of have. We've been backtracking a lot. But still... A lot of it's just because Maggie starts with very slow speed, and that speed up pill was the first speed upgrade that we've got in the entire game. And these guys can fly over the rocks, can't they? I totally knew that. I don't know why I just, uh, like, assumed that that wasn't gonna happen. Okay. So, I... I don't know. I'm a little concerned. This run... We have a lot of offensive power... Uh, with our Krampus's head, but the problem is we can't use it all the time. Like, we can, we have to basically save it for bosses. Uh, and actually, if I get hit once, it's over. Like, I'm dead, and the run is done. Oh, careful. Careful. Okay, ah, I hate those enemies. Oh, well. Well, that is gonna do it for this one, guys. If you enjoyed the video... You know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.